Hello, my name is Douglas Block. I'm an author and mental health educator. Welcome to your Depression Recovery Channel, where each week we talk about practical tools and coping strategies for healing from depression and anxiety. The title of today's video is The Power of Purpose. Before we start, of course, we have to tell our requisite joke, pun. Anyway, uh, my wife told me that in order to get more fit, I should start doing lunges. That would be a big step forward. <laughs> I like it. Well, I've been talking about, I think, before having an upcoming hip replacement surgery. I guess that's what happens when you hit 72. I did have it on August 17th. Uh, today is, what, the 22nd of September? Hey, first day of autumn. Happy Equinox. Anyway, uh, and this is going to be the first of four videos where I'm going to share about the many challenges I've faced since this uh, surgery. Didn't expect them to happen. And what I've learned about depression recovery as a result. Before I start, I wanted to make a sad announcement. My wonderful therapy cat, Bruce, the Persian cat, who many of you are familiar with, passed away last Friday. He was a healer. Someone called him a being of light, an evolved soul. He worked with my uh, depression support groups for years, and I will be doing a tribute video to Bruce uh, coming up. But getting back to the, today's uh, video, The Power of Purpose, um, the surgery itself wasn't too bad, but uh, when I woke up the next day, I found myself with an incredibly swollen hip. Of course, you know, that's supposed to happen. Uh, it was, you know, impossible to walk. And I had to sleep in a hospital bed downstairs. I couldn't get up the stairs. Well, if that weren't difficult enough, the unimaginable happened a couple of days later. I was upstairs in my bedroom uh, reaching for some medication and I'm leaning on a bookcase and it collapsed. And I fell right onto, you guessed it, my left hip. I screamed. Uh, I was so upset. Fortunately, nothing broke, but I strained something called an iliopsoas muscle, an old injury, and so it, it definitely set back my surgery, uh, my, my surgery, my recovery for many, many weeks. And uh, I was hoping to get out and doing some walking, but for the time being, I was housebound. What's interesting is that about a year and a half ago, I had my 25th bout of cellulitis, which is a infection of the soft tissue which occurs in my lower leg. It's really been my Achilles heel, no pun intended. Uh, as a result, I was, um, yeah, funny. I was, uh, again, like now, confined at home, put on antibiotics, you know, put on bed rest. But for, and it was the middle of winter, but I didn't get depressed like I have been since the surgery. And why was that? Because I was in the middle of a uh, project I was really enthusiastic about it. It was uh, called uh, creating a website called Overcoming Suicidal Pain, which is right up there, and you'll see the uh, URL on your screen. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, Jerry's shaking his head. I shouldn't be saying that. But anyway, the whole point is that even though the physical pain, the limitations were there, I had something called a central organizing principle of my life, a purpose that gave me passion, enthusiasm, and that emotional, you know, uh, energy uh, went ahead and compensated for whatever pain on the physical plane that I was feeling. Now I know why in his classic work, Man's Search for Meaning, concentration camp survivor Viktor Frankl wrote that those who survived the camps were not the strongest, were not the healthiest, were not even the youngest. They were people who had a purpose, uh, something they wanted to accomplish after they got out of the camp, something something really important to live for, and that gave them a reason to stay alive. As the great uh, philosopher uh, Frederick Nietzsche said, he who has a why to live can bear almost any how. Understanding this principle, I realized that somehow I needed to get my inspiration back so they could create a focus that would replace the depression I was feeling after the surgery and the struggle I was going through. So I decided to take a risk. I uh, abandoned my hospital bed in, in the living room and with great effort climbed up the stairs to the second floor and made it to my bedroom and my sanctuary. When I woke up the next morning, I, I sat in my regular meditation chair, which faced a wall with photos of my favorite spiritual teachers. And during meditation, I came up with an idea. And that is to take the information I had put on my website, Overcoming Suicidal Pain, and convert it to an audiobook. And then, uh, as I did with when going through Hell Don't Stop, make that audiobook available for free on YouTube and then publish on Audible. So this really, really uh, lifted my spirits. And in addition to that, I decided I was going to use 
a platform or a program called Restream to stream my live chats uh, on Facebook and Twitter and other platforms in addition to doing it live on YouTube. As I slowly made my way downstairs to eat breakfast, the pain and throbbing in my hip were still present. But the enthusiasm I had for my new project gave me something else to focus on besides the pain. There is something within us that is as powerful or more powerful than the pain and challenges we face. Throughout history, people have used the power of purpose to sustain them through all sorts of adversity. So now I ask you, the viewer, if you're struggling with depression, anxiety, and other mood disorder, do you have a sense of purpose or something that gives your life meaning that can sustain you during the challenges you face? It could be uh, one of my clients after retirement uh, learned to play an instrument. Another one took up water uh, color painting. Someone else, of course, spent time with their grandchildren. Someone else started volunteering uh, uh, for a cause they really believed in. Someone else started uh, writing a book. Uh, whatever it is, uh, you know, is there something that you can put your mind to that serves a greater purpose? And if not, you can talk to a friend, spiritual advisor, counselor, and see what you can come up with. Because if you can find something that brings purpose and meaning to your life, it will allow you to more easily endure the symptoms of depression and anxiety and even give you moments of joy and satisfaction. This has been Douglas Block. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did so, please give it a like. Uh, that drives uh, viewers to our channel. If you have any questions uh, or comments, please leave them in the comments section. I do uh, answer every single comment. And you can also write me, douglasblock at gmail.com. If you'd like to become a subscriber to this channel, then when you see the subscribe button on the screen, click on it. And to the right of it, if you click on the notification bell, you'll be notified every time you uh, have or I have a new video or live chat. And if you want to be a contributor to this channel, uh, simply click on the Patreon button and you'll be taken to my crowdfunding site. And until we meet again, I wish you the best in your mental health recovery. Thank you so much for watching.